Hello everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so it's time for another Friday Reads. So I'm just going to get right into it and tell you the books that I'll be reading tonight and into the weekend. So the first book that I'll be continuing with this weekend is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. I am buddy reading this with three lovely booktubers and we are almost halfway through. After tonight we'll be on page 300 and yeah about another hundred pages will be halfway through and I'm really loving this. Um, I mean buddy reading it just makes it that much more enjoyable and I'll put their names in the description below. Melanie from Mel's Bookland Adventures, Cheryl from CR Flames Fan, and Candace from Beacon Hill Books. And yeah, this book is a fantasy. It follows several characters. It follows several characters in a world where there are certain individuals with what's called the essence. And is it's this magical ability. I don't even really know a whole lot about it yet, about what you can do, but you can control certain things. And there are also augurs, which are people that have a different set of abilities that can sort of predict the future. They have visions of the future. They can tell when someone is lying or telling the truth. Um, and all sorts of things are happening in this book. And all we know so far is that they're sort of uncovering what has happened. In the beginning of this book, we follow it, Davian, War, and Asher. They're at the school that specializes in teaching you how to use this power. I know this is a super vague description, but on the back it says, It has been 20 years since the godlike augurs were overthrown and killed. Those who once served them, the gifted, were spared only after accepting the rebellion's four tenants, which vastly limited their powers. Davian suffers the consequences of a war lost before he was even born. When he discovers that he wields the forbidden power of the augurs, he sets into motion a chain of events that will change everything. So I think that's a much better description than I gave, but I'm loving this and yeah, I cannot wait to delve into this more and we're reading about 50 pages a day so there you go so the next book that i'll be reading this weekend is the witches by sarah schiff stacy schiff sorry stacy schiff this is a non-fiction book just recounting the salem witch trials and the aftermath and all of that i'm always fascinated by this and i thought this was a super perfect october read Halloween read and yeah so it's a horrific time in our history but you know it's fascinating nonetheless so I will be reading this and telling you what I think of it and I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week because it's nonfiction, and I don't know how dense it will be but I will at least have started it so I'll let you know next week where I am in the book. The next book that I want to start this week is War Cross by Marie Lu. This is a YA version of like Ready Player One and all about virtual reality and sort of living your life through a virtual reality. And I love those types of books. So hopefully this will be just as good. Um, so I really loved Marie Lu's Legend trilogy. I read it like a few years ago. I wasn't as crazy about the Young Elite series, but hopefully I would really enjoy this, and I absolutely loved Legends, so we'll see what I think. The only other book that I want to start this weekend, at least start, is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. That is the Spooktober book of the month, and I have it on ebook, and I read it a long time ago as a teenager, so this will be a reread, and I remember the main points of the book, um, but I'm sure little pieces are are missing in my memory so I'm excited to give that another go and yeah um I used to have the physical copy I think it was a mass market paperback I don't know what happened to it so just have a reading it through uh, my kindle this week or I'm starting it this week I should say so that is all I have for you those are the books that I'll be reading this weekend I'm really excited I'm loving the shadow of what was lost, and I'm really excited for The Witches and Salem's Lot and even Warcross. So 
I don't know. I mean, I doubt I'll finish all of those during the week, but I'm at least going to start them and I'll let you know my progress next week. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have plans for the weekend. I'll be going out for a while and um, hopefully it won't rain because it's been kind of cloudy. The last few Fridays have been really like stormy and gray and cloudy, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. But that is all I have for you and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.